rivers, priests, manual scavenging and of course Priya warrior dominate the south today. Here's Southern Circuit, I'm Pratibha Raman and first the headlines. The Kaveri verdict from the Supreme Court has brought a smile on the face of Kannadigas. Karnataka has been asked to release 177.25 TMC feet water to Tamil Nadu every year as against 192 TMC feet water which was decided earlier. Karnataka has got 14.75 TMC feet water as an addition compared to the earlier agreement. Actor turned politician Kamal Hassan has reacted to the Kaveri judgment. While he expressed shock, he said that we need to look at how we can make use of available resources now. We need to work towards amity of the two states and not let politics take over. A Catholic priest from Kerala who has been accused of raping a foreign woman has surrendered before a court in Kotayam today. Father Thomas Tadatil had been booked by the Kadathurutu police for allegedly raping a Bangladeshi native. Seven workers died due to manual scavenging. They were made to clean a septic tank in Chittur district of Andhra Pradesh. Kaveri verdict came at a time when the CM of Karnataka, Siddharamaya, was getting set to present Karnataka budget 2018. The fact that the judgment is in favour of Karnataka makes one wonder if it can work in favour of Congress as well, keeping in mind the forthcoming Karnataka election 2018. And will this be disadvantage BJP? Watch this video on Asian at Newsable to find out. No, no chance. No chance. It, is, it can't be because this, this battle has been fighting from 2008 and all the issues were framed up in 2008-9 and we have addressed the, uh, and all the arguments were framed up in 2008-9 during BJP government. That was the foundation for this judgment. So they can't claim. Overall, the, our lawyers have done a good job. See, I don't think we should politicize this. It's not a political issue. It's more an issue concerning the people of our state and Tamil Nadu. Both of us have to live in harmony and peace. And so let us look at the verdict in detail. The government of Karnataka, with the support of everyone, all opposition parties and the people of Karnataka, we have, uh, I think, put, a, put out uh, uh, as strong a case as possible. Now let us uh, read this whole verdict in detail and let the government also react officially before we start saying anything more than this. Taking advantage of any party is not a different. Entire, all the party unitedly, we fight at it. And uh, in all uh, circumstances, all things, we have taken uh, collective decisions. Kaveri verdict has gifted Karnataka with 14.75 TMC feet additional water and this has evoked raging sentiments in Tamil Nadu. Members of Revolutionary Students Youth Federation hit the streets of Chennai opposite to Shastri Bhavan and shouted slogans against the centre. And that's a viral video. Priya Warrior and her wink along with the eyebrow dance has won many praises as well as criticisms. She may be an instant internet sensation having won plenty of offers from even Bollywood. At the end of the day, is she really worth all the hype? People on the streets react to this viral heartthrob. <laughs> She playing with her eyes and her eyebrow and all. I really liked it. Very good song. She's pretty and all of that and the wink was damn cool but any Bharatanatyam dancer can do just as much as a, a wink as anybody else. I mean as her rather. So it wasn't. I just saw an interview of her and she said like it was not scripted and director gave her all the freedom to do and the, she has done that on her uh, like own instincts and all. Yeah. So yeah that's the reason because it was not scripted and nobody told like how to act and all. So whatever she has done, she has done a good job. It doesn't look that, you know, like impactful, you know, for her to get Bollywood offers and all that. That depends on the people, like, well, like you know, probably I like it, like someone else may, may might not like her, I mean, like, but for me, yeah, she is good. The hype she got is because the Valentine was the, uh, around the corner and uh, the video came out and uh, people were like, in that uh, vibes and uh, so, yeah. I think it was uh, worth the hype, like whatever, like it's good, right? It's like nothing bad about it. Why should we, you know, uh, 
be uh, bad to some person like if she is getting a like famous or she is getting famous overnight it's stupid it's really really stupid there's no reason for people to get so but i don't think so in that song any controversy is there not a problem but i don't know why people act like that see if you think from the perspective of people there are too much religion and all that then yeah i think it is hurtful for them how can you connect such a cute uh, video to something uh, related to religious i don't think it's a right job yeah i mean you are attaching two separate things you know which are like completely distinct from one another so if you like join them together of course there is going to be some sort of you know negative reaction from people just a uh, being a matter of being and she becomes uh, so much of hype get she gets so much of hype it's fine i'm like for her it is good actually one of my friend is she looks same i told her to make a same hairstyle and all she did and she sent me the photos i haven't seen any like uh, vulgar memes on that so whatever they like they have taken rahul gandhi's expression modi's expression hucha venkat's expression and all so yeah it's a good thing like everybody is getting benefited out That's all on Southern Circuit. See you next week for more news and updates. Stay logged on to www.newsable.com.